Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Intergalactic Toys, and today with me is uh, my son Cameron from... Cameron Inc. Studios! That's right, and it's been a while since we have built something together, and especially a STEM project. So we got this here from Hobby Lobby. It was, uh, as you can see, a great deal. It was like eight bucks. And uh, it is a robotic octopus that picks things up. Pretty cool, huh? It is for ages six and up, uh, not for ages three and under because of the small parts. And I don't know if we're gonna need any tools or anything like that, um, but uh, it doesn't look like it. So here we go, here's the instructions for it. So, and this must be the card that it comes with. So it has um, what you can do with this, I guess. And it talks about the string, uh, tension force, compression force, and it comes with a little, with an eyeball. <laughs> Pretty cool, there's eyeball. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this apart. These are the tentacles, you get eight of them. And the little ends that go with them, uh, tentacle end cap they're called, are these. So go ahead and start pulling them apart. Cameron? You just, yeah, pull them. All right, so Cameron has pulled those apart. We're gonna take that away. And next, we're gonna go ahead and just do this like an assembly line and have him pull off all of those. Go ahead and start pulling those off, Cameron, just, just like you did the tentacles. All right, so Cameron pulled them all off. And these uh, tentacle end caps can only go on one side, but we're not to that step yet, so we're not gonna worry about that. Let's go ahead and get to the next step here, which is we have this piece right here, right? It's called the base, and we have this, which is the pull ring. And there's a little notch in here that only can go one way. All right, so Cameron's gonna go ahead and push the pull uh, ring into the base. It goes all the way down, okay? And so it had a notch, so you gotta get it right so that it can go all the way down in there, okay? So we did that. And the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and take the string, Cameron, and we are gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna cut both sides in half again. Okay, so you should have four equal strings. Okay, here we go, we, light, we just kinda spread out the tentacles. We're gonna put the tentacle, we're gonna insert the tentacles into the Bases right here, okay. These right here is where the each tentacle goes, all eight of them. And this is how you line them up. So this right here is what they're calling the wider end, and then this right here, this other end, okay. You can see it looks different. That's where the tip goes, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and insert all these in. Cameron, will you do me the honors and start inserting them like that? You just kind of push it in, and then there you go. You hear it snap into place. That's that means it's done, okay. Um, and then the end cap, we'll just show you on this one, it can only insert one way as well. Okay, is it on? Yes. All right, so that's what it should look like. All right, so this is what's gonna, what it's gonna look like, right, with all the tentacles on. Okay, so camera's gonna go ahead and put the string through the end. There, there's a hole at the end cap. <laughs> that's our string. And you can see it's gone through here. And before I almost forgot, uh, so one of the steps is, is on each string, you're supposed to tie each end into a single knot. And that way it's going to stop there. Okay. All right. So we are back. Okay. So this is how you do it <laughs> with the string uh, inserted in here. So you insert one tentacle, you tie the knot on one end so the string stops there, which it does. And then on this, if you can see it right here, we're gonna get close in. So the, the uh, pull ring has, okay, so you can see the string right here. We, we're gonna use some tweet. we needed to use tweezers. So here's the tweezers to help pull the string in. So that little hole on both sides has to go through there. Then you're gonna tie a knot on the other side, right? You're gonna pull, you're gonna take this string and push it through the other tentacle, okay? And then you're gonna tie the knot. And what's gonna happen is, is when you, let's flip this over, when you pull, when this thing pulls, you'll see that the tentacle, okay? The tentacles here are gonna curl like up in this box. Let's show you the box and then that will give you a better idea. So like that, okay? And, but it won't if you don't put the string through the pull ring, okay? So remember, we got really four pieces of string, two tentacles each. The string runs through here and here, so it's one string per two tentacles. Four strings, eight tentacles, and that way it will, when this gets pulled up, it will grab things. 
Okay, so this is worth noting. So here you go, you got the string here, it's tied on the knot, goes to the end cap, through the tentacle, through the pull ring holes. Okay, there's also a hole on each tentacle as well. Uh, and that goes all the way uh, through here. Now, word to note, you're gonna wanna pull this end cap off before you try to pull push the string, string through on the other side, because as you can see, it is a small hole. So you're gonna to wanna to just pull it through and then you can put the end cap on and then you're gonna tie the knot, okay? And then that's gonna be um, two tentacles done. Okay, so here we go. We've got our octopus, as you can see. And one thing of note, okay, uh, it, you need a lot of patience uh, pushing the string through there. If they get frayed, you gotta cut them, but you don't wanna cut them too short, otherwise, these things won't pull down. The other thing is, is some of these knots, as you can see, are, they tell you to put them toward the tip, but really, if you have this much room play in it, then it's gonna be, you're gonna really have to pull up on this ring in order for these to go down. So you might wanna play with, really worried about, if we really wanted to grab things with this, we would go ahead and, and it tells you to readjust these knots, cut, cut the string and readjust the knots. But this is it, this is how it's gonna work. So you're gonna pull the ring up, okay? And you're gonna see, see the, that the legs go down. And we have to put this as well, and it goes like this. So the side that you're gonna pull the string from, this, right, which is right here, so you're gonna pull, you're gonna pull it through there. So you just line this up, this on, and I think before we put this other side on, snap onto you. So it's just gonna sit there for now. Let's go ahead and put the eyeball on. It just peels right off. How do you want the eyeball, Cameron? You want like that, like that, like like the way you just oh, had it. Oh, yeah, that's how it's like. You want it like that? Yep. Okay, so it's sticky. So we're going to go ahead and pull it off. And we're going to go ahead and fix it like it shows in there, which is slightly off-centered, kind of like that, the, the big uh, shiny part of the eyeball. Yep, like that. Okay, and we're, I think we got it in there pretty much. It's a sticker. We're supposed to snap it. So it's supposed to go here and just snap to it, which it looks like it does. There it goes, it snaps. There we go. Same with this. It snaps down and snaps that way. There we go. And there you go, there's your little robot octopus. All right, so we are, we finished our robot octopus. Now uh, you're gonna need some patience and uh, as you saw, he snapped together really good. So in the back side here, this is where you put your finger, right? And this is where you're gonna, you know, just play with it and like that, okay? That is the robot octopus. It's gonna make a great display and we just wanted to show you that it was a great fun project for us to do. All right, folks, uh, if you found the video useful, give us a like and of course you wanna see more interactive toys, more toy videos, you know what to do, smash the subscribe button. Thanks folks, have a great night.